So uh, I'll show you guys the uh, the Power DVD mobile version and Power Director mobile version on the Windows 8 RT running on Microsoft Surface right here. So we have the the platform right here. Right. So that's the uh, the Microsoft Surface, and as you can see, we already have the Power DVD mobile and Power Director running on it. So let me first launch Power DVD mobile. Uh, it's apps launches you can see that uh, uh, the UI experience is uh, fully touch uh, optimized and uh, basically Power DVD mobile is the uh, RT app that uh, allow user to you know play back their medias uh, either it's a video photo or music um, you'll be able to do all these different you know, media playback using the uh, single app on, on it okay so uh, so let me go into the video category let me switch to the uh, the all view. So, so here is the user library uh, on the Windows RT platform. So, one of the biggest advantage of using Power DVD Mobile on Windows RT is that uh, cycling, uh, we actually develop our own uh, video codec decoder. So, um, uh, using uh, mobile devices like this, usually user may run into problem with uh, video files or format support. Uh, because some of the devices, uh, due to their, their hardware limitations, they most of them are only be able to play the MP4 type of format. Um, so anything uh, that is not in MP4, most likely you you have some problem with that. So let me show you some files that uh, some some of the code that we developed in Power DVD. So for example, M2TS files, MKV files, the MP2 files. Uh, or can be uh, correctly playback or decoded uh, in the in the in the uh, RT app. So that that's one of the example uh, is a uh, impact to video file uh, running on on Windows RT. Okay. okay so uh, so I think this this will be a great great uh, feature for user uh, to. To uh, use the app on the road, maybe they wanted to have a USB stick uh, connected to the device and have some files in it uh, that uh, is not in MP4 format. They don't have to use another application to transcode it, and they can do the playback directly using PowerDB Mobile. Okay. So let's quickly switch to the the uh, photo category. So. Uh, essentially, we develop a new uh, user interface that allow user to quickly uh, browse through their photos. So that's the uh, calendar view. So you actually see the calendar uh, in the application. So basically, uh, you can find the photos taken on a particular date. So it's very easy to find certain events or uh, maybe uh, some activities that you have taken some photo with. Uh, for example, you can go into some of the uh, calendar just by directly uh, clicking on that. Okay, so it's uh, taking a, a bit longer than I expect, but then uh, we can go back. So um, so that's okay. I I will show the uh, so that's the uh, the the photo browsing. Uh, you can still browse your photo based on the the photo structure in your personal library. So all these are different uh, photos available in your photo library. Uh, you can still do that tradi more traditional way of browsing. Uh, so we go into the next uh, the music category. So the music category pretty much is uh, the. the uh, it provides the, the common features just like any music player uh, on the market. Uh, you, we, we do show those uh, all this uh, beautiful album art, uh, allow user to create their own playlist and do the search based on artist, album, or uh, the genre. So that's pretty much a quick overview about uh, Power DVD, Power DVD uh, Mobile on the, on the Windows RT. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome.